Well, good morning. It's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. And the gratitude tip for today is getting a gratitude journal. There's something that is so powerful about connecting our brain with the feeling when we write something down. And on this journal, my gratitude journal, it says, if you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. But if you write about, <coughs> write about it, excuse me, it empowers you. So something definitely to have. And let's talk about a little bit of the research in the news as far as gratitude. Gratitude makes us happier. A five-minute daily gratitude journal can increase your long-term well-being by more than 10%. That's the same impact as doubling your income, they have in studies. How can a free five-minute activity compare? Well, gratitude improves our health, relationships, emotions, personality, and career. Sure, having more money can be pretty awesome, but because of hedonic adaptation, we quickly get used to it and stop having as much fun and happiness as we did at first. How can five minutes a day have such a large impact? Gratitude makes us feel more gratitude. That's an interesting concept. It is a positivity loop that increases this feeling over time. This is why a five minute a week gratitude journal can make us so much happier. The actual gratitude produced during these five minutes is small, but the emotions of gratitude felt during those five minutes are enough to trigger a grateful mood. Well, while in a grateful mood, we will feel gratitude more frequently. When we do feel gratitude, it'll be more intense and held for longer. And we will feel gratitude for more things at the same time. What is hedonic uh, adaptation? Many people think that getting something like a raise or a promotion at work is what it will take to make them happier. Sure, but sure, this isn't true, but due to something called hedonic adaptation. Let's find out more about hedonic adaptation and why this makes gratitude so powerful for happiness. After repeated exposure to the same emotion producing stimulus, we tend to experience less of the emotion. But put more simply, we get used to the good things that happen to us. This also means that we get used to the bad things that happen to us as well. Those who have been disabled have a remarkable, remarkable ability to rebound. Initially, they may feel terrible, but after months or even years, they are often, on average, just as happy as anyone else. Hedonic adaptation gives unparalleled resiliency and keeps us motivated to achieve even greater things. It can also kill our marriages. We get used to our amazing spouse or kids or job or house or car or game, and we stop seeing all that we used to as positives and start complaining. It is a psychological imperative to fight hedonic adaptation if we want to maximize happiness. Gratitude is one of the most powerful tools in our arsenal because it helps remind us of the good things that we already have, that we already have in our lives. Why does it take gratitude months to be effective? To be re in all relevant studies, changes occur slowly. It took several months of continuous practice for the largest benefits of gratitude to appear. So there's your gratitude news for the day, a gratitude journal, how much it can help you, and tune in tomorrow. We'll have more news on gratitude. Have a great day.